Well, here we go. It's time to find out who are going to book the four individual places that are available at this Continental Quota Tournament in Antalya. The lineup for the quarterfinals sees Gazos going up against Sierakovsky, Shiro against Ravnica, and Vekmur against Valandon, and Henkels against Unruh. Time for quarter final number one. The world number two and 21 year old Turkish archer Mete Gazos leading out his opponent Kasper Sierakovsky, the 27 year old Polish archer who is the world number 82. On target number one, representing Turkey, Mete Gazos. Well, here we go. Time for quarterfinal one in this men's continental qualification tournament. The archers have made it this far into the tournament. One more win confirms a qualification spot for their country in the men's individual at Tokyo. So not necessarily the archer will win the spot, but the country will. Mete Gajos of Turkey will get quarterfinal one underway. Well, both shooting sevens uh, here at the start of this, and their sighters and both making adjustments. Uh, Nikki Hunt, former world number one, is with me in the commentary box. Nikki, uh, big opportunity, you have to say, for Kasper Sierakovsky. I'm not sure anyone expected that one to be uh, in the lineup for the continental quota places. He's certainly the underdog, underdog here, but um, you know sometimes that can play to your advantage. So let's see what happens. World number 82 Nine. up against uh, the world number two. Gajos' first arrow in for a measure. Uh, but the last two going straight into the 10, which uh, really does put this one out of reach. Kasper Sierkowski of Poland will want to shoot a good arrow. Practice for the second set and a good grouping for his second two arrows a 25 for him not enough though and the early points go to uh, the home nation archer uh, nikki my first question of this uh, men's quarterfinal we'll get into olympic qualification etc very shortly is the speed at which these archers are shooting is quite phenomenal yeah, so they get 20 seconds to shoot their arrow. Um, you know, timing's important. How long you spend at full draw to executing the shot. I always look for consistency of that. Everything in archery is about consistency. Um, but the speed as well is, is it plays a part. And you can put more pressure onto your opponent if you're getting the shots off quickly and then forcing them to then get ready to shoot as well. So that can be a component. So now let's get back into the uh, nitty gritty and into the headspace of Mete Gazos. Uh, a lot of pressure on him. I mean, it's curious that the Turkish archers are still in this situation where they're having to go through last gas qualification. Yeah, world well, number two, um, you know, you'd think he'd qualified already, but at the end of the day, there's only 64 spots for men, 64 spots for women at the Olympic Games, which is just so few, and there's just so many brilliant archers who will miss out. So, you know, it's down to this and then the very final qualification in Paris in two weeks' time. Yeah, things could change around there in Paris. But the one thing that is for sure, these archers need to win these first matches, the quarterfinals. A place in the semifinals, uh, with some caveats, uh, will book you a quota spot for your country. Sierkowski getting off the mark again uh, with a score 
not quite in the gold. An eight is better than the seven shot in the first set. Gazos is following up two consecutive tens. And he is in the middle of the target again. longer hold we're talking about timing up at full draw for a lot longer and another eight going off to the right there oh. impressive shooting from the 21 year old doesn't look like the way the world is on his shoulders Meti Gazos oh, an adjustment there from Sidakowski and he shoots a 24. Set points are surely with Gazos. Oh, brilliant. Really very, very good indeed. 29, difficult to beat by anyone. Four set points to nil up after just six hours. This, this one is probably the the one that's most likely to be finished in uh, nine arrows here. It's a, he look, he's looking very strong, and Sirikoski's got a, a bit of work to do to get into the centre. Yeah, I mean, this is the set system, so anything could happen. Um, Gazos is obviously on form. World number two come out here shooting you know, fantastic stuff, so he's going to be looking to seal this in three sets, get the job done and get out. Um, that would be nice for him, but um, everything to play for. You know, that's the beauty of the set system. Come back and you can make it all the way to the end. Yeah, I mean, often people think about um, and, and talk about the pressure in, in the moment for, for these archers, and, you know, it's, this is a one-shot qualification tournament, uh, but actually the qualification takes many years in terms of preparation. For example, Meta Gazos has seen himself shooting uh, on the big screen whilst he's shooting time and time again. Sirikowski perhaps hasn't got that experience. And look, I mean, if you look at the shot from behind him when we see it, he's got a big screen. He's basically got that in vision, his peripheral vision, as he lines up to take this shot. Quite often as well, from my experience, they're always just slightly behind. So as you make a movement, you then see the movement on the screen because they're not completely in sync. And that can be really off-putting, like you say, especially if you're not used to it. Uh, a nine start from Tsiolkowski uh, uh, is a great one, except Gajos has gone and put it in the ten. Really long hold, nine. fighting nine. through nine. to Executor. Nine, not bad. But he is against this guy. One oh, laps of concentration, though. Oh, oh. I mean, he's not just putting his marker down for qualification here. He's putting his marker down for everybody else in the world to say, hey, I'm still here. Maybe... The last gas qualification, but when I make it, that looks like nice. very close to the line there. It's marked as a nine for a measure of 27, but here uh, an eight will be enough to do this in nine arrows and go through to the semi finals with Olympic qualification secure. Again, close one to the line. It's definitely a nine. It's probably going to get marked up to a ten, but another 29, bare minimum. And you saw the outpouring of emotion there. Very different to the women's quarterfinals in that uh, Gazos is the only Turkish answer in this lineup. He has booked a place for Turkey at the Olympic Games. And it is, it's not even imaginable to think it's going to anyone else. More than likely his, you know, as we said, it's for the country. But, you know, world number two is clearly on form. He's won that spot with 49 days out from the Games. More than likely that is his spot right there. Yeah, I think so too. He just held on to those emotions all the way through uh, that match. I mean, yeah, I know it was only 18 arrows. He didn't have to hold on for too long. But the outpouring of emotion is, uh, you know, it's uh, an illustration of the immense amount of pressure these athletes are under finishing with a nine 
Sikowski, I don't think he should be kicking himself at all in this. He was up against a great uh, in the making, uh, or great already, a living legend. And I'm not sure he thought that he would be here. When he looks back on this, you know, I was one win away from qualifying for the Olympic Games. Um, but I came up against this man. Living legend, very happy, Mete Gajos is through to the semi-finals. But more importantly, he's booked a first quota place for Turkey at the Tokyo Olympic Games. Well, they were waiting for the measures there at the end. And of course, uh, Casper Sikowski waiting for his agent to come back 